hello friends and welcome back to my channel in today's video i will be sharing with you guys how i make my own plantains chips something happened to me last week at work actually twice that i don't want for it to repeat itself i was so hungry for some chips and i went to the gas station i bought some chips after eating those chips i felt so guilty because I could taste the amount of salt and cheese. I actually had the Dorito chips. I did not want that to repeat itself. So I wanted to make my own chips myself and take with me to work. So every single time I feel like having something crunchy, I can reach out for my own chips. At least I know how much salt I'm gonna put in my chips and what type of oil I'm going to use to fry it. So today, I'm just sharing that with you guys. So come on and let's prepare my plantains chips together. So to get started with our plantains chips, these are the green plantains that I'm going to be using right here. And I've decided to put on my gloves because I don't want to mess up my fingers. And also we have this slicer that we're gonna to use to slice our plantains. So let me go ahead and share with you guys how I clean my plantains to start off with. So we're just gonna do it just like this. And you want to make sure that you've already washed your plantains because I've already done that. I love plantains chips. Plantains, it's good because it does have potassium in it, which is very essential for the body. And having to fry my own plantains chips by myself, I think that's much healthier than buying the ones out there. So there you go. I just put it in a bowl and I just continue this process until I've peeled up all of the plantains. So here are our plantains and now I'm ready to use my slicer just like this to slice the plantains. I love this slicer because you, it has uh, different sizes on here. You can either slice your plantains. The sizes are like one fourth of a size, one eighth and one sixteenth. And today I'm going to be doing one eighth of a slice, okay? So you basically just sit, sit your slicer in something just like this. And then you just go ahead and slice your plantains. How easy is this? <laughs> I love this slicer. It makes your job so easy. Look at that. So I'm just gonna go ahead and keep slicing. See that? And this takes no time with a slicer. In the past, I've had to do it with a knife. <laughs> with my hands and a knife and it was just not easy and it also has this little thing where you can kind of hold the end of your plantains and just continue your slicing just like this so yeah that's it you get the next one and you just continue this process until you have completely sliced your plantains this is one of the easiest ways to make plantains chips. To me though, if there's other ways out there, I'm not sure. But to me, this is one of the easiest ways. Look at how much plantains I've gotten in less than, what, 10 minutes? Not even 10 minutes, five minutes. The blade on here is so sharp, guys. So you really want to be careful. This is our last plantains and we will be done so we can go on to deep frying. Literally this whole process of slicing the plantains took me less than 10 minutes, 
which is awesome. And look at how much plantains I have. So we're gonna proceed on to frying. I already have my oil. I'm using canola oil today. I already have it on the stove heating up. And this is a deep fry, so you want to make sure that your grease is hot so that when you put in your plantains, it's not just going to soak in all of that oil. So let's give it a few minutes for our grease to be hot and then we're gonna go ahead and proceed into our frying. So I'm going to go ahead and taste if our oil is hot enough. So I'll just use one of my plantains and drop it in there. You see how that just lifted up. So that tells me that the oil is ready and it's time for me to go ahead and now add in my plantains. There you go. Yeah, that's some deep frying going on right now. So we're just gonna let this fry for a few minutes and then we're just gonna go ahead and kind of turn it around so we are ready to take out our first bash which just looks like this you want to have it golden brown and I'm going to put it on top of a paper towel so it can absorb all of that grease at least some of the grease if not all So from here, I'm going to go ahead and sprinkle just a little bit of salt on it, just like that. And that's it. Then we're gonna go into our next bash. If you've noticed on this right here, some of the plantains are all sticking together. Yeah, if I had to drop them singly in the grease, then I'm going to have each one looking single. You know what I mean? But when you drop them together, sometimes some of them get to stick together. So in this batch, I'm going to try to drop them singly so you guys can see exactly how it turns out. That's where the hard part comes in. So like that. I'm going to reduce my heat just a little bit while I drop it. So when you drop each plantain, then your chips are going to be single as well. As you can see, they're just single. But if I just toss it in there, then they're gonna stick together. As you can see, these ones right here stuck together. And I think that when they're stuck together, they are not completely dry and they will not give you that crunchy feeling. See that? So it's not completely dry when they're stuck together. So let's go ahead and take this batch right now. And this batch right here, I dropped it singly. So look at how everything came out by itself. It's not sticking on each other. See that? Look at that. These are so crunchy. And I'll just go ahead and sprinkle some salt. 
to give it a little bit of taste. And that's it. So as you can see, our plantains chips are ready and these, they taste amazing. They are so crunchy. I just love plantains chips. If you love plantains chips like I do, or if you don't, you may just want to give it a try. This is so easy to make. And of course, I think this is way better than buying chips out there. This is an amazing snack. If you try it, let me know in the comment section how yours turned out. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like what you see and you enjoy my content, please consider subscribing and joining my YouTube family. Thank you so much. I see you in my next video. Bye-bye.